Welcome to the first of five video guides of our new turn-based strategy RPG Blackguards, featuring the Dark Eye universe and developed by Daedalic Entertainment. Today everything revolves around the first decision you have to make in the game. What character class will you pick? You have three initial choices – fighter, mage or hunter, as well as male or female. You can also fully customize your character without sticking to an archetype, but more on that later on. The fighter is a melee specialist, wearing heavy armor and soaking a lot of damage before going down. Wielding swords, axes and other instruments of violence, the fighter is excellently suited for dealing damage. He's a frontline grunt, keeping enemies at bay and using various special abilities to exploit each opponent's weak spots. However, since he is most effective in melee range, he is vulnerable to ranged attacks. No matter of arrows or magic, enemies with these capacities can hurt him at range before the fighter can close the gap and return the favor. The mage is the only class who can wield magic. A caster's arcane powers may manifest in various ways. There are not only devastating combat spells, affecting single opponents or taking effect in whole areas, a wizard's tricks of the trade are vast. Letting your own shadow join the fray, summon a magical barrier, make enemies go berserk among their own allies. As long as they don't run out of astral power, mages can always turn the tide of battle. The mage should keep his distance, however. Metal armor impairs magic, and wearing only light armor makes a poor choice for frontline melee combat. The hunter is mainly a skilled ranged fighter, but in contrast to the mage, the hunter relies on bow and arrow instead of magic. With an arsenal of different bolts and arrows, a hunter can take out dangerous foes at long range. At the same time, those versatile fighters can hold their own in melee combat as well. Hunters thus find their place in a hybrid role between fighter and mage, as they have always the right tool for the job, no matter which foe they face on the battlefield. These three classes aren't enough for you? The Dark Eye sourcebooks offer a much larger variety of professions, you say? We are aware of that. And that's why you can completely individualize your archetype build while playing Blackguards. Even though a fighter may be most comfortable with heavy plates, sword, mace or axe, there's no need to stick to melee only. A fighter can fire a crossbow or set traps to expose enemies just as well. Mages don't need to hide in the back. If you want your mage to become the terror of the front lines, put on a leather armor and learn area of effect spells that'll teach any foe what it means to get in close quarters with a well-prepared caster. Last but not least, our hunter has one or the other trick up her sleeve. When equipped with a spear or similar polearm, she can keep an opponent at distance. You can't touch her, but she can still stab you with a pointy end. Specializing like this is possible thanks to the detailed Blackguard skill system. How this works and how you can fully customize your character right from the beginning will be the topic of our second Blackguards video guide. There we will show you various hints in regards of customizing your character right away. And now it's your turn. Show us your character and tell your own story, right here on YouTube. Or hit the forums and exchange experiences about your journeys through Aventuria on forum.daedalic.de. You can also, of course, find us on Facebook. Here you can stay up to date about recent information on Daedalic's Blackguards. Background information and anything important is also posted here, www.blackguards.de. Who didn't join the Blackguards yet, but wants to catch up as fast as possible, is more than welcome to register on Steam's Early Access. There's also an awesome collector's edition featuring an art book, a figurine and much more cool content. <laughs>